you can question whether or not we should have a rule that you can't buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition. Which The I team has learned the coalition, Mayors Against Illegal Guns, is focused on bullets. There are seven, over 700 mayors who are part of Mayors Against Illegal Guns, and when they take, an issue, take on an issue like this, people listen. John Feinblatt is Mayor Bloomberg's chief policy advisor. He tells the I-Team the coalition is planning to call for a new rule, tracking and flagging multiple purchases of bullets in a short period of time. We've had bulk sale reporting for handguns for years, and so if we can do it for handguns, why we, can't we do it for ammunition? It just makes sense. Since Friday's Colorado massacre, President Obama and Mitt Romney have not indicated any plans to take any action on guns, calling instead for prayer and support for the victims' families. In an unexpected move, Mayor Bloomberg this morning also urged New Yorkers to call and put pressure on their own senators, Democrats Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. We have two senators in this uh, a state that represents you, call them and say, I'm going to hold you responsible unless you go out there and get the others to do it. They'll say, that's not fair. Yeah, well, that's the only place you have a vote. So it may not be fair, but that's what it, it's effective if you do it. But Senator Schumer suggested that to hold him accountable would be misplaced. A spokesman saying in a statement, as Mayor Bloomberg knows, Senator Schumer, the author of the original assault weapons ban, has been a leader on gun control for decades. Kirsten Gillibrand was a favorite of the National Rifle Association when she first became senator, but her NRA grade quickly dropped from an A to an F after supporting more gun control measures.